Praise the Lord. Praise, Praise the Lord. Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Grace and peace to all those who watch this program and praying together today. Let the God bless each and every one of you and your families. Hallelujah. 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 Let us praise and thank the Lord. Lord is the only God who is ready to bless us at every time. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Let us thank and bless the Lord. Oh Lord, we praise and thank you. You are always there to bless us and help us in every need. As David did in Jehovah's sight, we will dance with all our might before the King of Kings. Oh Lord, as Miriam did with the tambourine. All the saints in heaven and all the creatures on earth, we praise and thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Sing unto the Lord a new song. Amen. Sing unto the Lord a new song. Sing unto the Lord a new song. Sing unto the Lord a new Everybody, sing unto the Lord a new song. Amen. Sing unto the Lord a new song. Amen. Amen. Sing unto the Lord a new song. Sing unto the Lord on the earth. The Lord is great and greatly to be praised. The Lord is great and greatly to be praised. Everybody. The Lord is great and greatly to be praised. Amen. The Lord is great and greatly to be praised. Hallelujah, 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 Oh Lord, we praise and thank you, Lord. Oh Lord, hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Lord Jesus, as we pray today, we know that you are ever ready to help and bless us. Bless each and every individual. Bless our family. And today, as we are gathered here, let us pray. We all pray that the Spirit touch us. Give us an eagerness to pray to you without ceasing. Help us to trust you fully. To understand your glorious and marvelous ways of doing things. When things are scattered and shattered, when we do not know how to move ahead, Lord, you are there to bless us. And today, we place all our worries and anxieties. Today, we place all our pains and sufferings to you. Lord, accept us as we are. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Praise, Praise the Lord. Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus, today many people go to the church around here and there because they need blessings. And many people run after wonders and miracles because they need and they like to get the blessing from God. It is true that God is ready to bless each and every one of us. But if a person needs prosperity in his life or her life, what we have to do? The word of God very clearly says, if you are ready to obey, you will be blessed 
and you will be prosperous. Hallelujah. 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 The way to prosperity is to obey. This is what we see in the book of Isaiah chapter 1 verse 19. If you are willing and obey, you shall eat the good things of the land. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. What does that mean? If you are ready and willing, you will have a good time in your land. You will eat and drink. You will have prosperity in your life. Today, let us see what the word of God says. We see from Genesis to Revelation, if we go through the pages of the Bible, the first sin came into this world, we know, just because they were disobedient. God gave them certain precepts, certain commandments and rules and regulations so that they may be always his children. But Adam and Eve, they simply denied to be with God. They broke, they became disobedient, they broke the commandment and thus become, they were, they were uh, out of the Aden, uh, Garden of Aden. We have to obey the word of God with diligence and perfection. Hallelujah. 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 Dear friends, we see in the book of Joshua, Joshua chapter 1 verse 7. Above all, be firm and steadfast, taking care to observe the entire law which my servant Moses enjoined on you. Do not swerve from it, either to the right or to the left, that you may succeed wherever you go. You, if, if you obey these commandments, you will be successful wherever you go. And I'm sure, dear brothers and sisters, today, if you want to have success in your life, if you want victory in your life, if you want God's blessing in your life, be sure you obey the commandments of the Lord. Be perfect in your heart. Then, God is going to give, give you the prosperity and everything in plenty. Today many people, they very easily neglect the commandments. Of course, they go to the churches, they go for retreats to get benefits from the Lord. But unless and until if you obey the commandments, you will never be blessed. Dear friends, in Christ Jesus, in the first Samuel, we see the first king of Israel, Saul. He used to go and ask every time what he has to do. And whatever was said by God was acceptable to uh, Saul. But slowly the pride crept into his heart. And as a result he was going away from God. He started thinking about, he started to plan out things according to the advice of his friends and his kings. As a result, Lord was angry towards him. And we see in the first Samuel chapter 13 Verse 13. Samuel's response was, You have been foolish. Had you kept the command the Lord your God gave you, the Lord would now establish your kingship in Israel as lasting. God had given Saul the kingship of Israel as a free gift. And as long as he, as long as he obeyed the commandments of the Lord, he was really blessed by the Lord. But the moment he started to shift away from his commandments and his statutes. There he started his, his uh, tra tragedy. Or from, his, from there he started his tragic life. Saul who set out to have a war against Amalekites and he was having the war. And while he was going for the war, Prophet Samuel told that it is the commandment of the Lord that when you go there and when you attack the kingdom, you destroy everything there. Don't leave anything and should not take anything from that country. And that was the commandment of the Lord. But Saul, what did he do? He went there, he did whatever was told to him at the very same time. He took the best of the sheep and oxen and all other things in order to have the sacrifice for the Lord. It was not told to him. It was told to him to kill everything and destroy everything and do not take anything from that land. But this man, what did he do? He, with his own in, uh, plan, 
he took the best of the sheep and the oxen and it was for the sacrifice of the Lord. And when it was brought to his kingdom, dear friends in Christ Jesus, the word of the Lord came to him through the prophet Samuel. Let us listen to that from verse 12 onwards. Early in the morning he went to meet Saul, but was informed that Saul had gone to Carmel, where he erected a trophy in his own honor, and that on his return he had passed on and gone down to Gilgal. When Samuel came to him, Saul greeted him, The Lord bless you. I have kept the command of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So, when Samuel came and met Saul, Saul was so happy. He was having a victorious rally all day. And he said, yes, yes, I have done everything. And whatever God has commanded, I have performed well. And Saul was so happy. The following. But Samuel asked. But Samuel asked. What then is the meaning of this bleating of sheep? And the loving of oxen that I hear, yeah. Saul replied, they were brought from Amalek. The men spared the best sheep and oxen to sacrifice to the Lord your God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So, uh, when it was asked to Saul, what is I am hearing? The sound of some oxen and sheep. What is it? He said, oh, that my men have brought them from Amalek. It's because we want to give the best offering to the Lord. The best sheep and oxen is being brought, brought here. Then Samuel replied to him saying, Samuel said to Saul, Stop, let me tell you what the Lord said to me last night. Speak, he replied. Samuel then said, Through little in your own esteem, are you not leader of the tribes of Israel? The Lord anointed you king of Israel and sent you on a mission, saying, Go and put the sinful Amalekites under a ban of destruction. Fight against them until you have exterminated them. Why then you have disobeyed the Lord? You have pounced on the spoil, thus displeasing the Lord. Saul answered Samuel, I did indeed obey the Lord and fulfill the mission on which the Lord sent me. I have brought back Agag, and I have destroyed Amalek under the ban. But from the spoil the men took sheep and oxen, the best of what had been banned to sacrifice to the Lord their God in Gilgal. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So he was explaining why it happened because God had promised to go and do the uh, uh, war and I did it and I did what beautifully well but only one thing I have taken it for to please God. Then the beautiful sentence comes the next sentence. But Samuel said does the Lord so delight in holocaust and sacrifices as in the obedience to the command of the Lord? Word of God says God likes your obedience rather than your holocaust and sacrifices. And today, if you want to be blessed by the Lord, there is no other way but to obey the Lord with a full, a total surrender. Hallelujah. 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 This is what we see in Jesus. Jesus obeyed the will of the Father to the maximum. There was no change. There was no change in what God was, had sent, sent him for. He was sent with a mission to the serve the world and the way, the way how to save was told to him and he did it the right way. When we look into the life of Jesus, we see the very same obedience in Jesus. We will hear it from the letter to Philippians chapter 2 verse 6 and following. Who though he was in the form of God did not regard equality with God something to be grasped. Rather he emptied himself. He emptied himself. Taking the form of a slave. Taking the form of a slave. Coming in human likeness. Coming in human likeness. And found human in appearance. And found human in appearance. He humbled himself, becoming obedient to death and even death on a cross. He humbled himself and became obedient, obedient unto the death on a cross. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In the uh, book of First King, we see another beautiful example. There the example of a person called Naaman. In the first king chapter 5, we see Naaman is a commander in charge of Syria. And he was a very prominent man in Syria, but he had a problem. He had leprosy on his body. And the king of Syria sent this man to the king of Israel, telling, asking him to cure cure the, uh, this man's leprosy 
and when this man came to Israel, the king of Israel was so much ups, uh, upset because he was wondering, is it possible? How is it possible? Am I a doctor? Or am I God to cure this leprosy? It is impossible for me. And that's what, what he said. But Elisha, the prophet said, don't worry, send him to me. I will make him clean. And thus, Naaman was sent to the, uh, to the, uh, to the prophet Elijah. And Naaman with all his uh, group went to meet Elijah, Elisha and when he went there he expected that the prophet would come and welcome him and give him with a, a, a fine touch would heal him. But you know what happened really? When the great commander Naaman reached at the tent of uh, Elisha, what happened? Then Elisha did not even went out. And Naaman was so angry. I am such a prominent uh, commander in chief of a, uh, a kingdom and this prophet is not, uh, not at all coming and cleaning me or cleansing me. And now he is asking me to go and uh, bathe in the river Jordan. These are not beautiful rivers in my country and I am not going. He was very angry and furious. At that time, dear friends, a, a, a maid who was with this uh, name and told, Master, please, please, it is a very small thing. We just show it. If he had asked for a greater thing to do, you'd have already done, gone, you'd have done it. If the prophet had asked you to do something greater, you'd have already done it. This is a very simple thing. Let us not go and just take bath in the river Jordan. And the prophet had told seven times you have to dip and come out. And for six times he dipped and came out, there was no change. And the seventh time he, when he came out of the water, and so he, there was no leprosy in him. Hallelujah. 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 You see in the uh, gospel also, when Jesus asked at the feast of Cana, asked the, uh, his uh, friends to fill the uh, jar with water, they obeyed and exactly there God asked, uh, allowed a, a miracle, the first miracle to happen at Cana. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus asked the people in the, uh, at the feast of Cana to fill the jars with water and they did it and when they obeyed there was blessing. Hallelujah. 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 Praise to Jesus. Praise Praise to Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise Hallelujah. Praise so therefore, my dear brothers and sisters, let us keep in mind to obey the word of God is the only way to have the blessing in our lives. Let's stand up. Let's stand up and ask the Lord. Lord, we want to obey the word of God to the maximum. And there is no other way to be blessed in this world except to obey the word of God. And wherever there is, there is obedience and prosperity. My dear child of God, do not run here and there. Be there and be still and be be strong enough to obey the word of God which with its fullness. Definitely, God is going to bless you. I have seen so many people who have started, when they started obeying the word of God, they were blessed by the Lord. And even the smallest of these commandments, if you obey, God will bless you. And today, if there are any people who are watching this, you feel that there are so many blocks in our lives and there are so many difficulties in my life which I cannot uh, remove by myself just make yourself sure that you obey the word of God according to the will of God let us praise and worship the Lord hallelujah 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 thank you Jesus praise you Jesus my feet and a light unto my path oh Lord your word is a lamp to my feet Thy word is a lamp to my feet and a light unto my path. Thy word Thank you, Jesus. is Help a us, lamp Jesus. to my feet to keep and the word of God as a lamp on my way. Give the courage and strength to obey the word of God. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. hallelujah. If you are ready to obey, you will become prosperous. Praise the Lord. Praise, Praise the, the Lord. Lord.
Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let us kneel down for the benediction. As we are here for this benediction, let us place our whole selves before the Lord. Let us sing and welcome Jesus into our hearts and amidst. and worship the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Jesus, we praise you. Hallelujah. 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 Lord, today we surrender our hearts and lives to you, Lord. Very many times we are negligent in obeying the word of God and we believe and trust that when there is an obedience it will be followed by a blessing and you have rightly said those who love me will obey my commandments let us praise and worship the Lord hallelujah 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 Jesus we praise and thank you holy by you glory 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 Oh Lord, give us the grace to obey your precepts. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Divine praises. Blessed be God. Blessed be His holy name. Blessed be Jesus Christ, true God and true man. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Blessed be His most sacred heart. Blessed be His most precious blood. Blessed be Jesus in the most holy sacrament of the altar. Blessed be the Holy Spirit, the paraclete. Blessed, Blessed be, be the great Mother of God, God Mary, Mary most holy. Blessed be her holy and immaculate conception. Blessed, Blessed be her glorious assumption. Blessed be the name of Mary, Virgin and Mother. Blessed be Saint Joseph, her most chaste spouse. Blessed be God in his angels and in his saints. <laughs> 